That was a good one. That was giant. Holy that fish in over nine foot, 500 pounds, easy. One of those big offshore Juno Beach bull sharks. Yeah, like the thing was just so round. Hey guys, this is Darcy from Darcizzle Offshore. Today, I'm shark fishing out of Palm Beach County, targeting big sharks. And I am with Peter Barrett, and he is from BarrettRods.com. He is an expert shark fisherman. He knows what he's doing out here. And he also is a maker of specialty rods, custom rods from inshore to offshore to even swordfish rods. So we are gonna catch him up today. All right, so we've started our first drift and we are in about 100 feet of water and we have some dead bait with us. We have some dead bonitas that we stored in our freezer, but it's always good to have extra bonita. And this time of the year, the bonita are thick in Palm Beach County. So we've got some bait out and we are trying to catch a few bonita for some more shark bait. We are using bloodstream shark trum to attract the sharks to the boat. And this is super convenient. It's you buy it dry and you basically just pack it, what Peter is doing right now, and you pack it with the ingredients inside and then you drop it over the side and the sharks come right to the boat. Super easy and clean, no mess. This is a blue runner carcass that we have on a rope and it helps attract the sharks to the boat. I'm gonna toss them out. shark bait of the day. It's a full bonita carcass, so a big shark's gonna inhale this thing. Like I said before, we're fishing in Palm Beach County, and we're really lucky living here in Palm Beach County because of the way the Gulf Stream comes up, up along the east coast of the United States and the Gulf Stream actually moves in and out every day it changes and right here in Palm Beach the Gulf Stream actually curves in and comes closest to the United States right here in this location and the Gulf Stream, Gulf Stream ranges from three to five miles out so it's very close we just go out our inlet and literally in three miles you're already fishing and a lot of people don't have that luxury like we do and so we have the ledge right Right here and this is where all the sharks and all the fish congregate and it's kind of like a funnel so everything funnels through here when they're migrating north and south so we're super lucky and it you know the Gulf Stream is awesome here whoa there's a bull shark he's on him he's got him bull sharks on him the bull, I just saw the shark on him you're gonna get one shot there it is oh put the bull shark on him oh ready get ready with gas God, that was exciting. All the way to strike. Whoa. So we just hooked up on the first shark of the day. He took a smoking run and just ate the full bonita. So we tightened the drag and he is just going crazy right now. It's a really big fish. Angry. Definitely pulling the boat. Yeah, yeah. I've been fighting this big shark for a few minutes and it's just a super powerful fish and we're using a lot of heavy tackle today to get this fish to the boat and basically starting with the hook we're using a 14 knot mustad circle hook which is a really big hook for really big fish and then we've got number 15 wire attached to the hook and we have it attached with haywire twists 
and it's about two feet of wire. And then we have our shock leader attached to the wire, and the shock leader is 400 pound mono, so it's just super heavy stuff, and um, that's about 10 feet long. And then we've got the braid on the reel right here, and the braid main line is about 100 pound braid. So we're using really heavy duty stuff. I've also got my custom Barrett shark rod here, and this fish is just doubling over this rod. Um, and I could barely bend over the rod myself. So it's a really big fish, and uh, I really hope this battle isn't all day. <laughs> is not giving up. We have color just below the boat. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god. He's huge. wrapped around. He has been caught so many times. No, he probably hasn't been caught. He's just been broken off. Broken off. <laughs> oh. Pretty sure this is the biggest bull shark and shark I've ever seen in person. All right, this is about a 500 pound bull shark, biggest bull shark I've ever caught. We are done messing with her. We took a couple pictures. We're not bringing her out of the boat. We're gonna use these massive bolt cutters, cut the hook so the hook can fall out. Here we go. She's sinking back down. There she goes. There she goes. Woo. Got the line from her mouth. Yeah, we got somebody extra. We got, got their the extra line, from line her too. Mouth. Nice. Awesome. Nice job. Woo! Thank you, Barrett. That was awesome. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he was battling that fish and leadering him to keep him right by the boat. <laughs> really powerful workout. <laughs> that was a good one. That was giant. Holy that fish crap. over nine foot, 500 pounds, easy. One of those big offshore Juno Beach bull sharks. Yeah. Like. The thing was just so round. I couldn't get over how round it was. Incredible experience. Good, th good thing uh, Peter Barrett's on the boat today. Help me catch that fish. <laughs> we have released a big bull shark and we just took a few minutes to kind of calm down and drink some water and get our breath back. It really got my adrenaline pumping when I see huge fish like that, especially after landing one. But it was really awesome. We came out here and did what we needed to accomplish. We landed a big bull shark and we released it safely. We even pulled fishing line off of the shark. So we're actually helping save the ocean as well. And special thanks goes to Peter Barrett of BarrettRods.com for helping me out here and putting me on the fish and showing me what needs to be done to catch these monster fish and then release them safely. It was an awesome experience, a great day. We're gonna head in. So until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching.